Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. I was so lucky that I got the Ionic 5 yesterday and I could do a full charging test. It was the big battery, it was the P45, so 72.6 kilowatt hour usable energy and of course 800 volt system and I charge it from 6 to 100 percent at Ionity and I want to look I filmed the whole charging screen of Ionity for for the whole charge and then I put it in my graphs and then we'll look at the charging power to state of charge and whatever and then compare it to other car and the most important part in the end range edit uh, by time because that's the most important part. So let's look at the charging screen. Okay, we're charging here and it starts with 621 volt Already 170 amps after a minute 112 kilowatt is the start. You will see the charging curve is weird now We are 12% it's already 12% after three minutes. We are at 186 kilowatt voltage is going up amps 269 amps it will go up even a bit more after five minutes 22% we already above 700 volt and it will jump to now 220 kilowatt 309 amps at 715 volt that's the power look at that 35 percent and we have 24 kilowatt hours in the battery of the nine minutes oh my god 223 kilowatt i think that 224 is yeah that's the maximum that it had at 48 percent it goes down to 121 kilowatt and you will see it will go up again which is weird because the voltage dropped why did the voltage drop? I have no idea. It drops here again and then it goes back up. I have no idea why that happens. I saw in the car afterwards the battery care was doing something. So the battery I guess was being cooled. But is it taking so much power that the voltage is going down? I have no idea. It was 12-13 degrees uh, at, on that day. And also I uh, was doing the 130 kilometers an hour drive test. So yes, the battery could have been warm. Now we're almost at 20 minutes and we are at 77%. So we charged from 6 to 80% right now in 21 minutes. And we charged 57 kilowatt hours. At 82% we were still above 90 kilowatt. Now it's gradually going down. And it's okay, nobody needs to charge more than to 80%. 747 volt, the max is 751 volt at the end. We're at 88%, still above 50 kilowatt. Oh my God. And it will go down uh, at 100%, still above 20 kilowatt, really amazing. Again, nobody's charging above that uh, uh, percent state of charge. We're at 91%, still 40 kilowatt. Uh, amps are down to 50 and 747 volt after 30 minutes. 67 almost kilowatt hours charged. That's just amazing. Now we're going down to 31 kilowatt at around uh, 94, 95%. It will stay at that level till 98, 99. It goes down uh, a, a bit down even more. The whole charging session was 42 minutes, 42 minutes to charge 72 kilowatt hours, 6 to 100 percent. That is amazing. And we'll look at the graph in a second. It's really impressive. Again, I don't know why this uh, kilowatt, uh, kilowatt drop in power was and why the voltage went down. No idea. Maybe it was the battery care, the cooling of the battery, the the air conditioning and a heat pump had to do something I have no idea 99% still 22 kilowatt and it will stop in a second after 42 minutes look at that 72.264 kilowatt hours amazing charging speed now let's look at all the curves this is now the curve in time in minutes to state of charge and as you can see it's a weird curve usually you have a curve like this and this time it's more like this because it's charging uh, slow lower in the beginning and then faster which is unusual for cars usually it's fast and then it's going down that's why you have this little bump down here 
huh but still very interesting and here we have the charging power at state of charge and as you can see here was the 111 112 kilowatt here up to 185 then 219 224 was the max but i do every minute see where the state of charge is that's why it's not the perfect curve just too much work do it every second um, and then do it off the video but here we have the drop here and we have a drop here and it was a voltage drop and then it goes down to uh, at 77 percent it then goes down but still look at that 117 kilowatt at 79 percent 98 kilowatt at 82 that's really okay <laughs> i mean up to 90 percent still 48 kilowatt that's totally fine but let's look at the comparison to other cars and there we are so this is our ionic 5 and this is time in minutes and kilowatt hours charged and you can see it's the fastest car i've ever had but i never had a model 3 and never had a taycan or now uh uh e-tron gt but all the, i had the pro s of the id3 which charges with 125 uh, kilowatt as you can see it's just most kilowatt hours charged in time i mean it's done after 42 minutes it's just amazing it, it's more than any other car i mean the lowest is always the e <laughs> i'm so sad poor little e but look, let's look at kilowatt hours at percent it's the graph that we just seen and as you can see the the, the charging power is always above any other car that i've tested except for at around what is that 86 percent then the eqa is a bit faster who needs that uh, uh, at 86 percent totally fine but now the important graph range added in time and with all the other cars i used my rokobi test uh, consumption uh, do a, around 60 kilometers at 90 kilometers an hour and i take that i didn't do that with the ionic 5 yet so i used wltp range but i looked at the, the other car wltp range and it's mostly a bit higher than the one that i'm using uh, uh so what i uh, experience with 90 kilometers an hour and that's why that's why i took the ionic 5 wltp range uh wltp uh, uh average consumption and put it down a tiny bit to 160 watt hours per kilometer and here we are this is the ionic 5 and as you can see it adds range the best up to 35 minutes after 35 minutes the uh, id3 pro s so the big battery id3 is is charging more range into the into the battery but because it's a bit more efficient but it doesn't charge with 220 at 5 uh, kilowatt what the max was as you can see it still adds the best range in time yeah ionic 5 rules when it comes to charging uh, even adding range awesome charging speed 800 volt is amazing just so cool uh if you've all seen my range test in the, in the wet and cold temperatures i hope i can get a, have a chance to test ionic 5 again with good weather and then also do the 90 kilometers an hour full range test to see if it really adds what what i calculated here for it it can drive 452 kilometers we'll see um yes but it was amazing to charge that car it's nice to see the charging speed in the car of course as well in kilowatt so amazing car when it comes to charging that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye